I got an Abbey Minor to Rome. And I'd never been to Rome. I, I, I got over to France. I stayed in Paris one night and I tried to hitchhike. I was going to hitchhike to Rome, I thought. And I stood outside for about oh, three or four days, you know, and going back and sleeping where I could. And then I caught the train to Rome. It was absolutely stinking hot out there, you know, I'd never known anything. But what I did notice was if you started a painting one morning, you could go back the next day and you were pretty well sure that it would be exactly the same and you could work like you could work on a series of paintings and drawings, you see, which when you got home you could transfer. Um, and I met this bloke, John Donald, who was a jeweller, and he had a little old Austin 7. His girlfriend, who still lives in Rye, had gone down with him and then gone back by train, I suppose. Now, he was a jeweller, and he said, well, if you'll share the petrol, we'll see a bit of Italy. And we did all these lovely museums, and we, we went over to Rimini, Romano, Ravenna. Then we went and stayed in Venice on the Giudecca, where you could actually swim. It was beautiful, you see. But then, we, oh, Venice, all the stuff we saw there, you know, just amazing. Then I got back to England, um, and I realised that the English Landscape School had developed this kind of shorthand, because you know what it's like, well, this weather is incredible at the moment. You know, a long spell of, of sunshine and so on, you know. But in those days, you know, the weather used to interrupt them. You had to develop a, a memory, a visual memory. You use your sketchbooks, you see. And um, you began to appreciate what the landscape school in England was all about, you know. I know Tone Turner went abroad a lot, but Constable never left England, nor did Crome or Cotman. Oh, fucker. But this is what fascinates me about the English Landscape School, you see. See, really what I'm trying to do, just really, is get some kind of balance going. See, I think that's a bit too loud at the moment. I need to quieten that down a little bit. Um, I've tried acrylic, I don't like it. It dries too quickly, you know. You, no, you can muck oil about, you know. You can wipe it off and, and sort of, you know. I mean, loads of these paintings have been developed over years. The ideas, you know, I mean, all the sketchbooks I've got up there. In my car, I've got sketchbooks. As a kid, I was encouraged to have a sketchbook. But, you know, I did a painting of the Queen's Coronation from on top of the Admiral Citadel, Citadel roof. And I only had a sketchbook, you see. And a lot of the photographers are there, and they said, uh, if you'll take some photographs for me, we'll give you some photos. They never did. So I relied on that, and I got a very nice write-up about, about the coronation, you see. Because I painted it everywhere, pissing with rain, you know? These are just notes, um, you see, that's the garden in moonlight. Um, <laughs> but there's no sort of <laughs> study of clouds. Um, yeah, there we go. And all these lead into paintings, you see, you sort of... Just little notes of colour. 
you know, things like that. Orange, uh, pale mauve horizon, deep, uh, deep mauve, you see ice blue, and they all help me to recapture, you know, the idea that I've, what I've been seeing. You see, the kids have all been drawing in my sketchbooks as well. Like, you know, that's probably little Flora or Kitty when they were much younger. I don't know who did that, but it's beautiful. You see, they, all the kids were encouraged. This I did the other day. I was sitting in Jemson's and I have started a little painting. Various people I've known, you know, sort of... Uh, Cloud studies. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes, oh yeah, that's just a figure. But, you know, sometimes they're so rapid, they're just to jog your memory. Um, and, you know, you, you can build up, like, everywhere I go, I, I carry a sketchbook. Because I often go past where I want to be. Well, Audrey used to say, you know, you've done it, Fred, leave it alone. That's my little Audrey, and that's my Danny. And I lost both of them in 2018, you see. Cancer and dementia. And, um, but they always used to say, you know, leave it alone. You just have to stick it out, you know, and sort of get it, hopefully, where you want it to be. Sometimes you get a dozen that are really nice and you're pleased with, and then sometimes you just get the one. And then sometimes you don't get anything at all, you know? <laughs> Which makes you swear a little. Uh,